Hello, today is October 21st, and I have uh, three uh, days of information from our Lord Jesus, and so I'm going to go to them uh, starting October 18th. So here we go, October 18th, and on this one it was a vision. And so here it was in outer space, and there was a hole in space, and behind the hole I saw demons, and I could see six of them from the hole, but you could tell there were more, you know, all waiting to come out. And one demon was a grumpy, gum, grumpy, evil, wrinkly old man with a pointy hat like a dwarf. And the others had large mouths with gnarly teeth, rectangular heads with no foreheads, so there is no room for a brain. And so the interpretation is, you know, because it's in outer space, and I don't understand why the demons were just standing there, or, you know, or why there's a hole in space. And so maybe the hole in space is a portal. And, you know, soon the hole will be large enough to allow the demons to come out. And so the reason why I picked these three pictures here is because the, de the gnarly old man, the gnarly old wrinkly man looked like this, but he had a very pointy hat, just like a dwarf. So it was this kind of face. And when it comes to the demon's other faces, it reminded me of this one from a previous vision where the mouth was very, very large. Oops, I got papers all over the place. Okay. Uh, the mouth was very, very large like that. And in this previous vision, these were molars. But just think of all the very, very large mouth like this, but with sharp pointy teeth and the head exactly like this, rectangular and not much, you know, how, how people have the little taller head over here because they have a forehead and then the hair above so in this one it's like now there's no room for a brain you know it's just it's just a rectangle with a very large mouth and pointy teeth in there squinty eyes like that okay so the and then so I want to refer to a possibility that CERN is going to create a portal to allow the demons to come in and there was a an interview from Pastor Paul Begley with Anthony Patch and in this in this interview they describe how the people from uh, that work on CERN that exactly they're trying to create a hole in space a portal to allow the demons to come into earth you know into our atmosphere and so it's like, whoa, you know. So this interview was on October 20th, but this vision was October 18th. So thank you, Lord, for this information, for giving me the heads up that says, you know, to, to give me something to realize when I was listening to this interview that it's like, wow, that, that this has to do with that vision back in the 18th. So, <clears throat> alrighty. And so now we're going on to October 19th. On October 19th, it was a dream. So, okay, here we go. I had a dream, and I was at a restaurant, and I ate my dinner, but left the bread roll at the table to take home for later. I went to the restroom, and when I came back, I saw a waitress pick up the bread and put it into a bag like she was going to take it home. I went to her and told her that I wasn't finished with it and intended on taking it home. She gave me the bag, and she said she's sorry and turned to leave. So I went to the register to pay for lunch, and I looked in the bag. In the bag, there was a toy necklace, and also a plastic charm for a necklace. You know, what? Which it was a profile of a little girl. And the cashier said the woman had a child, and now it became clear. So the waitress was trying to take the bread home for food for her child. Oh, I felt like such a heel, you know, the... The cashier said, go get her, and I ran to the door of the restaurant, and I opened it, and she was out there with two small children, both running around like four years old. I waved and called to her to come back, and then I woke up, so I don't know if I was able to give her the bread or not. So, interpretation, our Lord wants us to help the poor to be more giving of those in need. Okay, and then on October 20th, I had another dream, and I was at home, and it was raining outside, and the rain started to come in through the roof, and started to come down through the ceiling, so the water started to pour into the bathroom, you know, above our heads, you know, just water pouring in the house, and I tried to turn on the light, and the light would not turn on, 
So I ran to the living room to get a flashlight. I turned on the flashlight and aimed it to the living room and the wooden floor showed puddles of water on it. So the water was coming in from the ceiling of the living room too. And what is the interpretation for this? And I want to say I don't know. Is our Lord just, you know, telling us, hey, there's going to be such extreme weather that it's maybe it's going to rain so much that it's the water is going to make our roof, um, you know, it's going to pour through our roof anyway and going to come in through our house. So, I don't know, you know, just interesting about the water pouring in. And if you have another explanation or possible suggestion of what this means, then that would be great. So, thank you. Okay, I do, I do, um, and so that's, those were the three, three days, you know, worth of visions and dreams from our Lord, but da, 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 I want to give you news on the Nibiru, because, you know, sometimes I give you some information on the Nibiru, uh, sometimes our Lord gives us, you know, the visions that contain the Nibiru in them, so on this one, there is a person named Steve Olson, and Pastor Paul Begley interviewed Steve Olson on October 19th and he gives them you know new insight tells them about new things that they've seen oh you know what and another reason to watch this at least watch the first five minutes you know here's the link demonic activity in the first five minutes of this video Pastor Paul talks that there's another cross that has been knocked down and so this one has a flat circular base so how could this cross have been tipped over and fallen when it has a nice sturdy brown base at the bottom of this cross holding it up and somehow it's still knocked down dude <laughs> so yeah watch this you know the at least the first five minutes and then later go to the interview at the one hour into the in, into the video and you'll see the interview and so they talk about Nib uh, Nibiru saying that it is in the Bible and it is talked about as wormwood so uh, two passages from the Bible uh, this is the book of Amos chapter 5 and so here I've got some passages here but the best thing is to read Amos chapter 5 over and over just read the whole thing over and over and over because you'll each time you read it you'll get more insight more understanding okay so here we go chapter 5 verse 6 seek the Lord and ye shall live lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph and devour it and there be none to quench it, quench it in Bethel. Ye who turn judgment to wormwood, and leave off righteousness in the earth. Seek him that maketh the seven stars and Orion, and turneth the shadow of death into the morning, and maketh the dark day, uh, maketh the day dark with night. That calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out onto the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. And then you have the book of Revelation. And the name of the star is Wormwood, and the third part of the water becomes Wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. And so there is talk that Nibiru comes from Orion, comes from that area from Orion. And so it's like, boom, there you go. Wormwood, Nibiru, from Orion. It's in the Bible. Okay, and so we also have a new picture from uh, the sun where this photograph was taken with a normal 35 millimeter camera and uh, so this is described in three different videos where they say they figured out uh, what is covering up the sun in this video here and then this this one here uh, these two are from Steve Olson and this one actually shows a picture of a big planet and that the, the round circle is the planet X and the swirly background is dust and asteroid mixture and then more more of the uh, sun simulator so boom 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 three good videos to check out and look at that one that is from the sun picture taken with a normal 35 millimeter camera but I don't know what the setting she had when uh, she took this photo so pretty cool information thank you everyone and God bless